told Betty today the number one article on The Guardian is, I, I love, love my vulva. vulva. And not only that, there's like a 900 pixel by 900 pixel huge picture of this female photographer's vulva portraits. And it's all the vulvas, all the different hair, colors, tons of labia. Let's labia take, galore. <laughs> let's take credit for that. I think you should take credit for it. Well, so okay. When I read it this morning. I've been doing it a long time. <laughs> right? I went, oh my God. First, it's vulva, your sex organ, not vagina. You have championed that like for decades. Gentle pride. Maybe the next step is clitoris instead of vulva. Maybe. And then um, self-love. I love my. It's like I couldn't think of a better Betty Dodson statement than I love my vulva. And for that to be trending on The Guardian as the number one says something profound. So how does it feel, Dr. Dodson? <laughs> <laughs> Bringing the vulva mainstream. There's so much more to do. Is that how you feel? Yeah. There's so much more to do. Like? It'll be based on overall body image. We're very hard on ourselves. But we see that all the time in the workshop, that as soon as a woman, during general show and tell, looks at her vulva, sees the beauty, connects to it, claims it, it's hers, that she's off. She's independent. Everything else flows from that. Comes from that, all right. Why? Why is that so important? It's our center. It's like the center of, uh, of the body. Yeah, you're right. Your vulva is the center. Is it, and, the, and your sex organ is the center of your sex life. <laughs> and love and all that, you know, bonding. The center of your humanity. Mm -hmm. Right? And the center of our orgasm, of course. I mean. <laughs> yep. It's important. And so to see that there, how does that make you feel? There's so much more work to do, to be done. You're always going forward. And the revolutionary. Yeah. So what would be next? What would you want next? What should happen? Uh, well, I think expanding our idea of body types would be helpful. Yes, very much so. Like women can have small breasts and large hips. Now mm. we're thinking of... Everything has to be balanced. Yeah. I kind of like it when it's disproportionate and it's out of balance. There's something well, beautiful it's more about it. It's more interesting. I mean, whenever we had a model in art school that had some weird thing about her, oh, we were so excited. <laughs> <laughs> How can I capture that? Yeah. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna draw it because it's different. Diversity too, that we all don't have yeah. to look the same. That's, and that if teen girls could get that message. The what? If teen girls could get that message, yeah. how their whole lives would be different. You know, all those brain clicks, all that energy you waste on trying to be something you can't ever be. Yeah, like I wanted to be tall and thin. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> I'm short and fat. Oops. <laughs> Instead of short and stocky. And strong. Yes. I never got credit for that. I could beat up all of my brothers. <laughs> but I think about that all the time when I look at my body and I see something that isn't, you know, the way I want it for whatever reason. I'm like, yeah, I have huge arms. I do. I'm an Amazon. But I can lift anything. <laughs> I mean, I'm strong. I can, like, shovel my driveway. Like, why isn't that valuable? <laughs> you know? Just give me a sword. <laughs> You're not all that feminine. That's it, you want strength. Maybe that's another thing that we could prize female strength. We never think of women and go, oh, she's strong. It's never- You would never use that as a-, a No, you'd be putting her down. As a, po a positive. So that you could be like, she's a strong well, woman. No, they don't say that. They Like brave and courageous. She takes risks. <laughs> she fucks for fun. <laughs> She's a hard fuck. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> All right, shape up. <laughs> well, it was very rewarding to, to read that article today. It really made my day. Yes. You can show it to me. I will. And uh, we're having more workshops, speaking of vulva love. <laughs> we're, um, I'll put the link in right here. Just send me an email if you'd like to join us. April 27th and 28th, May 18th and 19th, and June 22nd and 23rd. And every season we're like, will we have another? Will we do another season? How and many years are. have I been doing this? About 40 years. I look forward to it every time. Can so you believe that? the power of body sex. Oh. Yeah. Come to it. Come do a workshop.